get your tea queens get your tea because it's about that time uh -huh. Welcome back to another episode of Royal Tea Tuesdays. Um, today's episode of Royal Tea Tuesday. First of all, if you are new to Royal Tea Tuesday, Royal Tea Tuesday is a segment of my channel where we, as queens, literally sit together because we are royalty and we sip some tea. Tea about life, tea about self-love, tea about evolving into the queens that we are meant to be. So today's episode of Royal Tea Tuesdays. First of all, let me get into the tea that I'm sipping. Honey, I am sipping my favorite. Y'all already know the vibes. Peppermint tea. Peppermint tea is everything to me. Everything. Everything. Today's topic is, why do we strive for perfection when we know that perfection is impossible? Has anyone thought about that? Let's think. <laughs> Why do we strive for perfection if we know that perfection is not possible? Honestly, truly, like, why do we do that? And when I took the time to process it, there were three things that stuck out to me in regards to why people strive for perfection, especially perfection in the eyes of others. So let's start off with number one. People strive for perfection because they want to fit in. Let's be honest, people try to fit in everywhere. You try to fit in at work, you try to fit in in school, people try to fit in on social media for sure. But the reality of it is, if everybody was made to fit in, everybody would kind of be the same, right? But we're not the same. We were not made to fit in. Everybody's cut from a different cloth for a particular reason. It's those unique characteristics about us that allow people to stand out and to be individuals. No, notice the word. Individuals. Individuals. You are meant to stand out as an individual. You are meant to be yourself. You are meant to shine for yourself. So why do we fit in? What's the point of fitting in? So you can look like other people. Girl, I'm not trying to look like other people. I need to look like me. Per Riyadh. Number two. Being that we live in a social media era. I mean, we're all guilty of it. We're all guilty of trying to look perfect on social media. But how far is that going to get us? Especially when, for number two, people are trying to impress others girl one thing's for certain two things for sure i'm not gonna sit here or people should not sit here and try to impress people that do not care about you like ain't nobody dreaming about you boo ain't nobody over there stressing about you boo so why is it that you're trying to impress these people that don't care this is where that self individuality comes in because impressing them for what impressing them for the sake of them or impressing them for the sake of you like, who are you doing this for? Like, what purpose does that serve? Honestly, what purpose does it serve for us to strive for perfection on Instagram and Twitter and, and, and TikTok when, girl, these people don't care and these people are ruthless. And last I checked, ain't nobody trying to have ruthless people in a circle, careless people in a circle. People are not trying to have these negative Nancys in their circle at all. So you want to sit here and try to impress them and look perfect for them? what you must have your panties in a bunch figure that out sis figure it out 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 and number three are people striving for perfection because they don't know their purpose so because they don't know their purpose they don't know their calling they try to aim like others instead of searching for their purpose within themselves whoo that's a message that's a message i don't know who it's for I don't know who it's for, but that's the message. And it's hard. It's hard when you do not know what your je ne sais quoi is. It's hard when you are not fully aware of your calling and what you're meant to be and what, you're, what purpose you're meant to serve. So people try to latch on to others, that imitation factor, 
you know, that, oh, I'm going to do it like them because, you know, I see, I see this happen to them, so I'm going to try to do it like them. But it's like, honey, you are the blueprint. You are the blueprint for somebody else. You are the blueprint, honey. The blueprint. You're the blueprint. We're the blueprint. We're the blueprint for the generations that are lying ahead of us. We are the blueprint for so many people. If we try to be perfect, are we really showing up as ourselves? Because I know I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. So why strive for perfection? when we should just strive for individuality and just being who we are, who we really are. Once you cut the cameras, once you know the selfies are done and you know the Instagram likes is you know closed for the night, like who are you behind closed doors? That should be who you wanna be. Why well, strive for perfection when I could simply be me? I don't wanna look like them. We shouldn't wanna look like them. We should wanna be ourselves and be the people that we're called to be. And that's simply being you. Girl, y'all gonna get me flaws and all, okay? What's that song Beyonce got? Beyonce got? Is it Flaws and All? That's the song? I don't know. I think that's the song. But she got a song called Flaws and All. Or even Mary J. Blige. Take me as I am. Like, for real. No cap. No cap. No cap. Take me as I am. Per. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of Royal Tea Tuesdays, where on Tuesdays we come together as queens and we sip tea. The reality of our lives, the reality of what's happening within us, because beauty just does not just lie on the outside, it also comes from within. And that individuality is, you know, it's striving, it's working, it's doing its thing. From with it make sure you are sharing this with a loved one who probably needed a message to hear who probably needed something to to you know pour into their cup that's what we do as queens we pour into each other's cups i love y'all and i will see y'all on the next episode of royal tea tuesdays bye queens